Hi everyone, I'm Brian with Obedia and PC Audio Labs. Today we're going to take a look at the new Impact XT virtual instrument inside of Personas Studio One version 4. I'm using Studio One version 4 Professional. Your mileage may vary depending on the version that you are using. Now, if you would like to learn how to use these virtual instruments and everything else in Personas Studio One, you can give us a call at Obedia to work one-on-one -on -one with a professional digital audio trainer and get one-on-one -on -one training in Personas digital audio hardware and software in real time. Now that said, let's go ahead and take a look at these new instruments because there's some really cool new features. I'm going to drag and drop the new Impact XT into my empty Studio One song. And now I'm presented with Impact XT. Immediately you're going to notice that it looks different. All of a sudden we've got colors for the casing of Impact XT or the virtual casing as it is. This is a cool feature. If I click on the Personas logo, I can change the color of Impact XT. So you can make Impact XT basically your own a little more. And you can take that even further by color coding pads. You can click to select a pad and then you can make use of the color selector in order to color code your pads. So each of my pads can now be color coded in many different fashions and this is a very cool feature as well. Additionally, I have some uh, cool features now under the filter, including filter drive and soft clipping. And I also now have 16 mono and 16 stereo outputs that I can make use of from Impact. So this allows me to send multiple audio outputs from Impact and then feed those back into Studio One. It lets me get a little more creative with my plugin usage, inserts, and etc. And then I also have banks that I can make use of. And there are eight banks available to me. Each bank is going to house 16 pads. And what this means is that now, starting with bank A, I've got my first pad at C1, and it goes all the way up to D sharp 2 in this bank. And then I jump into the next bank, and I start at E2 and move all the way up to G3. And this is going to move all the way up my keyboard. And it allows me to essentially uh, map out all of these sounds, these pads, across my keyboard and play using the keyboard or a pad controller. And this is a little bit like Native Instruments Battery, if you've got experience with that, where I can have a huge amount of cells with sounds on them, and I can load sounds onto those cells, or I could only load sounds onto the few of the cells. I can be very picky about what it is that I'm doing. So this gives me uh, some great expandability function functions uh, inside of Impact XT. Now, uh, the rubber really meets the road, of course, when we start to play around with the samples that we load in Impact XT. We can start off by clicking on the uh, selector here to select a preset, and we'll play a little bit. All right, some pretty basic sounds. Now, I can change the location of these sounds and the pads by holding down Control and Shift or Command and Shift on the Mac, and I'll get the hand icon. Now I can left click and I can drag and I can change and swap my pads out. And then I also have some new and in-depth controls that I can take over each of the audio files that are loaded onto these pads, uh, including options for one shot, loop, normal, and then the toggle function. I'm going to talk about why this stuff is cool and important in just a moment. So using preset sounds is of course all well and good, but let's say that I want to go uh, a little bit further play around a little more. I'm going to go ahead and clear my bank. And I'll go ahead and clear both my banks because again I can load sounds into multiple banks now. So I'm going to clear both the banks because that preset I was using filled up two banks. So I'm just going to start with something completely clean here for Impact XT. Now I'm going to find some sounds uh, in my sound library that I have access to here. And uh, we'll just load up some various sounds, just drag and drop them onto some pads. Doesn't have to be anything special. I'm just playing around a little bit. All right, so I've just got some various sounds that I've loaded up there. And this is all well and good. It's an easy way to be able to create my custom banks of sounds inside of uh, Impact XT, but what if I wanted to just do things very quickly and just drag and drop a bunch of sounds and have them be mapped over the pads? Not something you used to be able to do and something you can do now. I'm just going to select a grip of sounds over here on the right hand side of my browser and now I'm going to left click and drag and hold the shift key on my keyboard. When I do that, I'll see the option spread samples across multiple pads. Now I'm going to drag down and move my mouse over C1 let go. 
So now check it out, Impact XT has spread all of these sounds out across all of these pads. So this is cool, it's a great time saver. It basically lets me just drag and drop a bunch of samples into Impact XT and have them be spread immediately over all of the pads inside of Impact XT. So it's a great way to build out your kits. You can move on and can do that with other banks until you've built out your perfect kit. So that is extremely useful, but there is another great new feature that takes everything to the next level as well. This next feature is really cool and it's going to allow me to spread a audio loop across multiple pads and I'll show you how it works. I have some audio loops in my browser. I'm going to left click and drag while holding shift on my keyboard and I see the option slice and spread across multiple pads. Let go of that now uh, on top of my C1 pad and you're going to notice something super cool. Each of my pads now has a new slice from this audio loop spread out over it and it's named after that and I can change that name if I want because this might be eh, not so much what I want my pad to be named but more importantly here is that each of these uh, slices is something that I can play with the pads in Impact XT. So these right now are one shots and I was talking earlier about one shot loop control and etc. These are one shots. If I click on the pad and I just click it once that sound is going to play from beginning to end depending on the loop uh, region that I have set right here inside of Impact XT. And I can adjust that loop if I would like by left clicking and dragging these start and end markers right here and then I'll play again. Alright, so that's a one shot. It just plays. I just press the pad and it plays. I could do that on uh, my keyboard or on a pad controller, etc., and it will just play. I don't need to hold down. Now, I could loop that if I wanted to, and looping can be super useful. So I'm going to click on loop, and then I'll go ahead and hold down the pad. All right, so as long as I'm holding down the pad, I'll hear that sound looping. But let's say I didn't want to hold the pad down, I can click on toggle. Toggle is sort of a hold function. This means now if I click on the pad, or if I play the pad, the pad will just continue to loop and play back. And this is something that will uh, just kind of depend on your own workflow and how you want to work with Impact XT, but that is how you can uh, opt to toggle that, uh, toggle that pad very quickly. Now, uh, one of the last really cool things about utilizing this function is follow tempo. So if you take a look right here, I have the option for follow tempo. And I'll show you what this means uh, by playing back that toggled loop. I'm going to play it and then I'm going to adjust the tempo of my Studio One song and you'll hear the change immediately. So you can hear what's happening there. This loop that's been loaded onto that pad is following tempo. And this can be set for some pads and then not for others. So this could allow you to get real creative with your drum sounds. Again, because you have the option to slice and use all those different samples. You can use the trigger functions. You can quantize if you would like to as well. And then you can use the follow tempo to really control how this sample is going to play back. So if you're someone who really loves to get super picky about their drums, the Impact XT in this new refresh is going to be an absolute uh, serious boon to your workflow, I think. Today's Pro Audio hardware and software can give you excellent results if you know how to use it properly. Obedia can help you to get the most out of your Pro Audio hardware and software. Why spend your time scouring the internet for answers or digging through manuals? With one quick call to an Obedia technician, you'll be connected with someone who can give you the answers that you need in real time via phone and remote desktop. Obedia technicians are trained in all major digital audio applications on Mac, PC, iOS, and Android devices. Obedia member subscriptions are cost effective, give you great member benefits, and Obedia is here seven days a week to help you get the most out of your digital audio hardware and software. No matter what your level of expertise, Obedia can help you to stay focused and productive and get your music back on track. Start taming your technology today with Obedia.